Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you different ways to time a speaker during a Toastmasters meeting. Well, there's a lot of different ways on how to do it. But in this video, I will show you three ways to do it. Why three and not just one? It's because it's a case-to-case -case basis. Some speakers, they prefer to have a PowerPoint presentation and some no presentation at all. So first thing you have to do is to check with the speakers on his or her preferences on giving the speech. So now, let's discuss the three ways. The first way to time the speaker is by using a virtual background. So this method you can use if the speaker is using a PowerPoint presentation. Okay? Then, to help me demonstrate this method, I have Teddy with me as a participant. If you don't notice Teddy, he's here. I'll show you. Okay, Teddy is there. Suppose Teddy is our speaker. So I will put his video on the main screen. And me as a timer is on top of Teddy. Okay, now in the real Toastmasters meeting, there are so many participants. So this area here will be filled with small clips. I believe it's about six clips, right? So you just instruct the speaker to make sure that your video is on top of the main screen. That person can scroll right or left, okay? Just make sure that your video is there. Or you can also tell him or her to pin you. Like for example, like this. There's an ellipsis here, right? The three dots. If you click on that, there's an option pin video. So your video will be displayed in that person's main screen. It doesn't really mean that if you pin someone's video, it will be visible to all the participants. This will be just visible in your screen. Okay? Now, let me unpin myself so that we can see Teddy. Suppose Teddy is the speaker and he has to give a speech for five to seven minutes. At five minutes, you will show the green card. So how you will gonna do it? There's a setting here near the stop video. Just click on the small arrow and then choose virtual background. In this case, I already saved the different colors, color cards, okay? If you still didn't save it, you can just add the image from here, add virtual background image, and then choose the image from your computer. But of course, you have to save it in your computer first, right? So in this case, it's already here. I don't need to save that. So I will close this. Now, five to seven minutes, right? So at five minutes, you will show the green color. Automatically, it changed that. See? Now, my virtual background has changed. At six minutes, I will show the yellow color. And then at eight, seven minutes, I will show the red color. And of course, there's always a 30 seconds grace period, right? So you can choose if you want to show a stop speaking sign, which shows that the 30 seconds grace period is over. But if that speaker still didn't finish his speech, then he goes over time and he will be disqualified. Or there's another option to stop him. You can let him hear an alarm, okay? Now, how you will do it, let me show you. I will close the screen, okay? Now, here, when I'm the timer, I always use the Google Timer. Just type here, timer online, and then it will show you this. So for example, that person will give a 5 to 7 minutes speech and a 30 seconds grace period, right? So you start that, and then when it's finished, for example, there's just 10 seconds left. Okay, let me reset it. 10 seconds left, 9, 8, and then there will be an alarm. 
Okay, let me stop that so you will see. When this alarm rings, you can share the sound. How you do it? Click share screen and then advanced and then you share the computer sound only. And then once the 30 second grace period is over, you can just let him hear this sound. Okay, that means finish. 30 second grace period is over. But of course, if you don't want to use this, then it's up to you. You can just show a stop speaking sign. Okay, so that's the first method. Now, the second way to do it is by using a profile photo. Some people, they don't have a virtual background or they can't use virtual background because of some computer settings or they don't have a green screen. So it's quite difficult to use a virtual background. But you can still use your profile photo as a color card. So here's how you can do this. Suppose Teddy is the speaker again, okay? I will pin his video. He's the speaker and I'm the timer. So I'm here on top. Now, I will close my video for some time. See this option here? Stop video. Okay, now, my video is off. Then, let's say another 5 to 7 minutes speech. So, at 5 minutes, I will show the green card. So, you go to the settings, okay? Click this icon here. If you are using Mac, you can find the zoom icon here. Or if you are using Windows, it will be in your desktop. It will show here, right? Okay, since I'm using Mac, so it's in my main screen. Okay, since I'm using Mac, the Zoom app is here below. So just click on this, and then you will see here a small icon for settings. And then go to the profile and you will see like a pencil here, pencil icon. Click on that and then change picture. So at five minutes, I will show the green color. Quickly save it. Okay. Save. Now, see here? My profile photo changed. And then at six minutes, I will change it into yellow. So you do the same thing. You have to do this quickly. Okay, change to yellow. Okay. Actually, when you are doing this in the real life, okay, when you are the timer, you don't need to close and open it. You can just stay in this screen while you are timing the speaker. And then Automatically, it will be updated. It will show like this here. And then red color at 7 minutes. Change to red. And then save. Okay, see, automatically it updates here. And then if you want to show the stop speaking sign, you can also do that. save you see it automatically updates so you can use this method if the speaker is using a PowerPoint presentation so you will not distract his or her presentation okay now the last method to time a speaker is by using a screen share this method you can use if the speaker is not using any PowerPoint, okay? So, let's say for example, another five to seven minutes speech. So, how you will gonna do it? Make sure that you open the color cards in the background. In this case, green is open, yellow is open, red is open, and the stop speaking sign is already open. Now, I will go back to the Zoom, okay? 
Now, at five minutes, you will show the green card. Click on Share Screen, and the open tabs are already here. So just click on that and then Share. You can show this for just like two to three seconds only, and it will show to all the participants. And then Stop Share. And then six minutes, you're going to show the red color, sorry, yellow color. And then three seconds, stop. And then at seven minutes, you'll show red color. And then again, stop. And then 30 seconds grace period, you can share the stop speaking sign. Okay. So those are three different ways on how you can time the speaker. If you have any questions or clarifications, my email is in the description below. If you want me to make another video related to Zoom meetings, please feel free to contact me in my email and I will try my best to make a short video easy and understandable for everyone so that you can follow it easily. So that's it for now and see you on the next video. Bye!